Hello and welcome back to EAC, and as you can already tell by the title of this video and the Santa hat, which looks really dumb on me, uh, this is the Christmas special for 2019, and this is also a new setup for making reviews. Uh, my old setup was actually just right here. You could see it by the Star Wars poster that used to be behind me when I would make my other videos. Uh, but yeah, I got a futon and like a couch, I guess, and I'm going to be making videos on this from now on. It's also better because if I make videos with my friends, like four or five of us could fit on this couch. Um, and yeah, so that's cool. The TV is right behind us. It's a bit of a different look, but you'll probably get used to it. As I said, we're in the same room that I used to make videos with. Um, um, well, okay, the last video I made, which was like less than a week ago, right there, I used to make them. Uh, but yeah, so this is the Christmas special for 2019, and today I'm going to be reviewing a TV show episode, and that is It's a SpongeBob Christmas. Uh, I was actually planning on reviewing National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I said that in my Knives Out review, that I was going to probably review that, but I'm not doing it. Uh, although it is my favorite Christmas movie of all time, I feel like I wouldn't have that much to say about it, but in case you want my grade, I would probably give it like an 8.5 to a 9 out of 10 probably. There are some flaws with it, but I feel like I couldn't give like an in-depth review, I guess you could say, on that movie. So I'm instead doing Spongebob because that's so much better. Uh, but yeah, this episode is different from all other Spongebob episodes, not just because it's a Christmas episode. There have been some in the past. Actually, this is not my favorite Spongebob Christmas episode. Um, my favorite is actually Christmas Who, I think it's called when Sandy introduces them uh, to Christmas and all that. Uh, I think the title of the episode actually says like Patchy the Pirate presents Spongebob Christmas special or something but in the actual episode when it's playing the title shows and I think it's called Christmas Who or something. Uh, that's my favorite but I thought we'd review this one because this one is a bit different because it's a stop motion Spongebob episode. One of two I believe. Two that I've seen at least. I'm pretty sure there are only two. Uh, this one and then they made a Halloween stop motion Spongebob episode a few years later like 2015, 2016 I'm pretty sure. But yeah so we're reviewing Viewing. It's a Spongebob Christmas in this episode. Uh, as I said, stop motion. And I really like this special. I remember when it first came out, everyone was talking about it. Uh, there's a song in this episode. Um, probably one of the most well-known Spongebob songs, mostly because it's a Christmas song. Uh, and again, I actually like the Christmas song better in the other Spongebob Christmas special from like 2001 or 2002 or something. Those were the good old days of Spongebob. Now it's just... Uh, but yeah, so there is a song in this episode. Um, I remember when it first came out, everyone was talking about it at school, like, oh, that special was so good last night. Um, that's what she said. Oh my god, what am I doing? It's supposed to be Christmas. But as I said, the song is iconic, and the rest of the episode is pretty good. There are some flaws that I'm going to talk about now, because everything else in the episode you could kind of expect, like, yeah, it's, it's pretty funny, it's entertaining, um, but I'm just going to be talking about the flaws right now and then get to the good things about it later. Uh, so the first flaw is they are a bit different looking, obviously not just because it's a stop motion and not like an actual cartoon, uh, but Mr. Krabs is like unbelievably skinny. Also, Patrick, he wears a scarf, like a Christmas scarf throughout the whole episode, but if you took that off, his neck is like elongated. It, you could tell that they molded it so it would have the scarf on. They didn't just make a Patrick and then put the scarf around it. Like they made it so the scarf would be on it. But if they took that off, like his neck would just be like like this, skinny where the scarf would go around. And then the rest of his head, uh, it would just look wrong. Uh, but yeah, all the characters do look a bit weird. I think SpongeBob looks fine. Uh, I think I have heard some people say like, oh, Spongebob looks kind of weird. He's like kind of puffy. He's not like defined like he is in the cartoons, not only because like in the cartoons there are lines that define him, but like he has, I guess, sharper edges, even though he's a sponge in the cartoon. Um, in this, he actually kind of looks like a sponge, which I guess is better, but yeah, just all the characters look a bit different, but that's not a big complaint because again, this is stop motion. That's kind of a given. Uh, the people did the best that they could do. I'm really kind of grateful that they were able to do this and make it work. Um, the other flaw is, or actually other two flaws, this is kind of the smaller one. Patrick, throughout the episode, he has this obsession with catching Santa, and I don't know why, he's just kind of weird in the episode. All the characters, they just do stuff that you wouldn't really see in a regular episode, not only because it's Christmas, but also they kind of, I don't know why, but for this stop motion episode, they changed their attitudes a bit. 
SpongeBob is mostly the same, but Patrick has this weird obsession with catching Santa. And I don't know, maybe he would do that in the cartoon, but I just can't imagine him in the like in a regular episode, a regular Christmas cartoon episode, like wanting to catch Santa so urgently. I don't know, that was just a bit weird to me. Uh, and as I also said, all the other characters are a bit weird. Their attitudes are a bit different from what you might see in the cartoon as a regular episode. And the final flaw that I have with this TV special is Santa is kind of a dick throughout the whole episode. And that's something that they really need to get right. Santa also looks like really weird. I mean, I know Santa hasn't really been in a regular SpongeBob episode, like in cartoon form, but he has like these weird darker brown spots, like darker tan spots on his head, just showing how old and like decrippled he is. And it's just like, uh, that's not Santa to me. That's not Santa. It's not like the regular version you would see of Santa. And I don't know, maybe they're trying to do something a bit different there. And if they did, they succeeded. But I don't know, it just doesn't sit well with me. But Santa's attitude and just how he acts, he is really mean throughout the episode. And as I said, that's something that they need to get right because Santa is like kind of the big part of this episode because it's a Christmas special. And, um... Yeah, for me, they didn't really get it right. Santa is, you know, there's one point when he gives Plankton what he deserves is what he says at the end of the episode because the main plot, if there even is a main plot for a SpongeBob episode, like a half an hour SpongeBob episode, um, Plankton, I just mumbled my words so bad there, but Plankton feeds the whole town fruitcake that has like this jerktonium, I think it's called, and it makes everyone like really mean to each other. That's where the SpongeBob song comes in. He's like, don't be a jerk, it's Christmas or, or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's where that comes in. But when they catch Plankton at the end and they're like, you've been feeding the whole town this fruitcake that you know has the jerk stuff in it. And he's been the one naughty one here and everyone else was actually nice. Even though Santa saw everyone else and he was like, you've all been naughty because of the jerk cake or whatever. And Plankton has been the only good one, but once they flip it around and realize what's going on and SpongeBob defeats the robot, um, that like there's a robot SpongeBob. And Santa's also really dumb. Like Santa is literally talking to SpongeBob, like the real SpongeBob. And then he goes, you've been the worst of all SpongeBob. Look, there you are. And then he points to the robot SpongeBob. It's not even like appealing that it even looks like SpongeBob. Like it's so obviously a robot, it's gray and like mechanic. Uh, yeah, Santa's kind of dumb in this as well. But anyways, after SpongeBob defeats that and they realize what Plankton is doing, uh, Santa goes, let's give Plankton what he deserves. And then he has like, he goes like this or something and his eyes are like, you know, like that, his eyebrows are doing the evil smile. And um, his elves, which also look really weird in this, the elves, um, they pour coal on Plankton and like crush him. And Santa is just staying there like, ha ha ha, like that. And it's just like, what the f Santa's supposed to be like the nicest character in any Christmas special and in this he's just kind of a dick uh yeah so that's something that definitely didn't work for me in this episode in this tv special and yeah that's pretty much it for flaws but the Santa one is such a big one that it just kind of it doesn't tank the whole episode but it's just like as I said they needed to get it right and they weren't able to for me at least, some other people might see him and be like, oh, he's fine, he's just being, you know, Santa is too nice anyways as he is, like they need to make him a bit more, I don't know, not mean, but a bit more cruel to people who have been naughty, like Plankton was, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so those are the main flaws with this. The Santa one is, as I said, the main one. But throughout the whole other parts of the episode without the flaws, um, it is one of the greatest like kind of newer spongebob episodes this came out in 2012 i don't know if i mentioned that uh but yeah out of like the newer spongebob episodes i actually like like 2010 to 2015 i'd say um it starts off amazing the spongebob like spongebob starts off amazing from 1999 to like 2003 2004 when the first movie came out in 2004 uh that was perfect 2005 to like 2008 2009 really bad the animation changed and just didn't feel that great to me um and then it actually started to get better for me at least the animation changed once again from like 2009 2010 ish to 2015 about uh the animation changed and i actually really liked it and some of the episodes i could actually get behind and i liked them and this is in that range 2012 so yeah this is one of the better uh newer spongebob episodes 
Uh, yeah, it's really good, and now Spongebob just... Uh, I hope they change the animation again, because it just feels lazy. Like, Spongebob would say... He would do something like he uh, flips out of his house or something, and you could hear him going like, hop, up, up, but his mouth doesn't move. It just feels like either really lazy audio, like dialogue to me, like, okay, you're going to do this, but we didn't animate it, so it's just gonna look weird, or it's just lazy animation on its own. I don't know, I wish Spongebob was as good as it was back then, and it used to be my favorite show. It's definitely up there for one of my favorite shows, but I think my favorite show now is Ghost Adventures. Uh, don't judge me on that. Anyways, I'm getting off topic, but as I was saying, uh, yeah, this is one of the better episodes of the newer Spongebob age, you could say. And as I said, the song is really good. One of the best Spongebob songs. As I said, I like the other one better from the other Christmas special, but that's just me. You might like this one better. Uh, it's catchy as hell, and you wouldn't really think that from a Spongebob episode. Uh, also, it is probably one of Plankton's best episodes. The other one I'd say is like the, what's it called? The something is always greener or something. It's like the kelp is always greener or something stupid like that. Um, when Plankton turns into Mr. Krabs and Mr. Krabs has taken the place of Plankton. Oh, the algae is always greener. Um, I think that's what it's called. Uh, yeah, that's, I think, Plankton's best episode. But this one is actually like, Plankton was... Uh, pretty good in this episode and pretty likable too. He also looked kind of the best out of everyone. I know he's really simple, but I think he looked pretty good. Um, also, actually, there is one more flaw that I want to talk about. Throughout the episode, Patchy the Pirate pops in, like, in between commercial breaks or whatever. Like, right when there's about to be a commercial, and then when it comes back from the commercials, he's there, and that goes back to the actual episode. Uh, they animate him, or not animate, they do him as stop motion as well. Um, and he just looks weird as well, and there's one point at the end of it, at the end of the episode, when the actual special is over and cuts back to him. He goes into a polar bear cave, but he thinks it's Santa, and I know he hallucinates, but Santa, like, dumps salt on him, even though it's a polar bear, like, dumping salt on him, like, getting ready to eat him, yay, it's funny. Um, but yeah, that just adds to Santa being kind of a, uh, kind of unlikable in this. Even though, again, it's not him. I don't know, it just puts that vision in my head. It just has been building up throughout the episode that Santa isn't that good of a guy in this. Uh, but yeah, the rest of it, the Patchy the Pirate thing, I didn't really care about that much. I usually do when it's actually live action, like Tom Kenny talking to um, the kids at home. He's like, okay, kids, we're going to see Spongebob now, or whatever. And then Potty the Parrot there as well. Um, but yeah, so wasn't that interested in that. That's kind of a smaller flaw, I guess. He was also animated really weird. I mean, I know it's live action, like real Tom Kenny as Patchy the Pirate to a stop motion, unlike the cartoon where you could go from cartoon to stop motion for like SpongeBob, Patrick, uh, Sandy, Mr. Krabs, Squidward, all of them. Uh, that was kind of easier and it was kind of hard to make a human into a stop motion figure. He, but he just looks weird and that adds on to the thing that I said earlier, how um, the characters look a bit weird. But other than that, this was a really good TV episode. I think one of the best Spongebob Christmas episodes that we could get. Or not Spongebob Christmas because there have been like two or three. Um, I think three actually. One of the newer ones which I saw I think but I don't really remember. I just remember this one aka the good one, and then the one from uh, a couple years ago, like 2002, aka the amazing one. Um, I might review that one next year, so stay tuned for that in a year. Um, but yeah, so this was a really good Spongebob Christmas special. I think they did the best that they could. Could have improved on Santa a little bit. Uh, the jokes in this are pretty funny. Like, they kind of hit, I think, and instead of like, you know, them making a weird joke and it, not no one laughing at it. Uh, I think kids definitely enjoy this. I definitely did when it first came out. And I do now. It's kind of like Charlie Brown when I first saw it when I was younger. And I could still watch it now. It's something for the whole family. As I said in my Thanksgiving review, when I reviewed the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving special. Uh, this is, yeah, kind of something for the whole family. It's also stop motion too. So it's, I guess, even better. It's more appealing uh, for people to watch instead of just being, uh, it's just a random Spongebob episode. It's stop motion, so it's kind of, I don't know, it stands out, I guess you could say, and it's something for the whole family, as I said. Um, but yeah, this episode is really entertaining. The only flaws I have with it are the Santa thing, uh, how the characters look a bit weird, 
and the attitudes of some of the characters and the patchy the pirate thing which was kind of a smaller one uh all of them are kind of small points though they don't deduct the special that much except for the santa one and that's really good that this special was actually good instead of it being really bad like some spongebob episodes are now there's literally a new spongebob episode like from last year or two years ago called patrick the horse patrick the horse when, and the episode is about Patrick wanting to become a horse. What are they thinking over there at Nickelodeon? But anyways, for this SpongeBob Christmas special, it's a SpongeBob Christmas. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. As I keep on saying, it's one of the best SpongeBob Christmas specials we could have gotten. A really good uh, iteration of how they can convert a Spongebob episode into a stop motion and that's something else as well. It feels like a Spongebob episode. Other than the characters looking a bit different and some of the attitudes being a bit different, um, it feels like they have the same humor and how the storyline kind of goes. It feels like a Spongebob episode and that's kind of one of the best things. But also if you've never seen Spongebob, as I said about it being something for the whole family, um, it's appealing to someone who is like not just like, oh it's a Spongebob episode, let's not watch it aka it being an actual cartoon or regular spongebob episode um but it's a stop motion so as i keep on saying it's more appealing for someone just random to watch instead of them being oh it's spongebob he's annoying or whatever uh and yeah that's something really good about this and that's something that they nailed the only big thing is santa and i wish that could have been better but yeah so this is the end of this christmas special for 2019 i hope you all have a very merry christmas and a happy new year happy holidays all around um, let me know what you guys think of this Christmas special. What is your favorite Christmas movie? Uh, what do you think of the other Spongebob Christmas special? Uh, what your grade would be on this episode? What you think of it, as I said? Um, really any comment about Christmas, about anything, in the comments below, you can leave. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching this episode. Merry Christmas or anything else that you celebrate. If you don't celebrate Christmas, just spend time with your family and have a fun time. Uh, whatever you do, whatever religion you have, whatever you celebrate, just have a fun time with your family. Uh, if you do celebrate Christmas, hope you get all the gifts that you want. Uh, this was actually one of my gifts, the futon. This was an earlier gift. This I got this like the 22nd, I'm pretty sure, which is three days before Christmas. Um, my parents gave it to me because it took them like three hours to put it together, and I was away. I was actually at Great Wolf Lodge with my friend Bill. Um, that was in my Lego Ninjago review, Lego Ninjago movie review. Uh, I was there, so they put this together, and they couldn't really wait till Christmas because we have a Christmas Eve party to go to, and if they got home late, they wouldn't I doubt they would feel like putting this together, so they gave it to me early. Uh, this is one of my presents. I hope you all get the presents that you want. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to take off this Santa hat that looks really dumb on me right now. I probably looked really stupid throughout this episode, but I don't care. It's Christmas. Be happy that it's Christmas and be festive as I am uh, right now. Thank you all so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.